Oh, I hit that metal beam. You're also sitting on my foot. <laughs> no, it was definitely the middle beam. Okay, it's a wooden beam. They said middle beam. They said metal. What is up, you guys? It's Sid and Courtney. And welcome, welcome to, to the clickbait. clickbait. You guys are really far away, so I'm just gonna throw my hand forward. This week's theme is Me Week, and I think we're probably gonna be the only people to film, but it's Me Week, meaning we're gonna talk about ourselves as um, as a whole. Conceited a pair. As that sounds? It's a pair. That's what we're doing. Um, but as you guys- He's in a pod. As you guys- Shut up! <laughs> a pair. I think you stay. Okay, as you guys can tell that we are doing a q and A. I I tweeted on- uh, our mixed channel. Hold on. I tweeted on our combined channel, Sid and Courtney, and I was like, yo, we're filming a Q&A. Ask us some questions. So you know what I got? I got some good questions. So, <clears throat> move my voice. Ready? So, let's, let's get started. Okay, first question is from greedy for luke She asked a lot of questions, so you're gonna be in here probably quite a bit, because why not? Go follow her first grief. Her first question is, if you could be a guy for one day, who would you be and why? What would you do? Who would I be and why? If I could be a guy for one day, who would I be and why? I'm thinking, I'm thinking Harry Styles, because he's a huge celebrity. He's friends with Liam, Louie, and Niall, and Lane, but yeah. Shade. Um, Is that who you're picking? Yeah, he has fantastic hair, too. I'm trying to think of who I would pick. Have you seen those eyes? He has money too. Bitch, no, I had, oh, Justin Bieber. No, what Justin would you, what mother would, freaking Bieber. What would you do? What would I do? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna buy stuff for I'm yourself. I'm gonna buy stuff for myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, what the size of me? Like, oh, he's looking at me like, bitch, why are you yelling? Okay, so this one is from Irwin's Giggly. I like your name. And what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? That was actually a good one. Okay. So, do you want to answer it? I'll answer it. I always watched YouTube. My first YouTuber was Jenna Marbles in my grandparents' place. What <laughs> I remember watching it in my grandma's room, and then I was like, that's so cool. And then I grew up watching more and more YouTubers. Get off of my shoulder, mate. So I was like, wow, these people make me happy. I would love to make other people happy. So yeah, that's why, that's how I thought about it. Um, and then my dad kept saying, you should be YouTubers. You guys are funny. Go, you guys should be YouTubers. Go be a YouTuber. And then we start YouTube and we lose all of our funniness. <laughs> anyway, um, I think another one was, I was seeing a bunch of twins. Twin YouTubers? Oh yeah. Like, who was the first ones we watched? Jack Harris and Finn. Jack and Finn. That's, that's what it is. Was. I was like, I think I know the name's Finn, but I don't want to look like an idiot. But then she said Jack. Jack and Finn Harris. Can you stop? Or like the Merrill twins you don't want to and Dolan twins. Can you stop? Just let him go. Hi. Now I'm covered in hair for no reason. Our next question is from Coda Young. Um, who are you most excited to see at playlist? Parenthesis. Hint. The answer is me. Well, you see, I am most excited to see. Can you go turn that light out? That light's not supposed to be on. <coughs> I am most excited to see. I'm trying to think of who else going. But like, I was seeing Rob. I see Coda and Pacey way more than I see Rob. And I love Rob. Rob is my baby. Like, Rob is. I think mine will probably have to be. I don't know. I, I love my girls, Coda and Pacey. But we don't get to see Rob as much. That's what I'm saying. This one is from Just Love and Hood. I like your hat. Uh, when did you start liking Five Sauce? If you guys did not know by the previous couple videos, we do appreciate Five Sauce a lot. True. I think there's been a couple videos where we've said this. We have to show up Five um, Sauce on our uh, main channel. Go check it out. 2012. I don't remember that because it was seventh grade year. I think it was like the beginning. Yeah, the very beginning of my seventh grade year. We had started watching Five Sauce. Okay, next question is from Greedy for Excuse Luke. Me? Crest or Colgate? Toothpaste, Courtney. Toothpaste. <laughs> I think it's Crest. It's Crest. It's Crest. I told you it was Crest. I'm sorry if I get your name wrong, but this one's from Dre Alones. Zero. 
What is your dream car? Think about it for a little bit. I'm pretty sure me and you could say the same thing at the same time. Range Rover? No, 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 no. It's Jeep Wrangler. Me and you were supposed to say it at the same time. Wait, do we ask that again? No, <laughs> no. it's ruined. <laughs> yes, a Jeep Wrangler. What and color? White. Yes, boo! Okay, this one's from Kylie. Her at is small Ethan underscore a bug. Her question is, yeah, if sure you can have- cute, but my boobs keep Shut the out. up. Sydney. Stop swearing. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and no, why? Hey, stop, stop swearing. Sydney, you, you are, are yelling. yelling. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> if you have any superpower, what would it be and why? I feel like mine would probably be invisibility. Cause did you see me get in all those concerts? True. Oh Mine would have to be probably invisibility. Oh, I want to fly too. I was thinking super speed. What? We can go past those. I'm, I'm a little Just biased. go past the guards. I'm a little biased though. So yeah, I'm saying invisibility too. That's a smart one. I said it first. Okay, well I'm saying a second, ho. This one is from Lauren Elliott. If you could be any celebrity, who would you be and why? Um, I feel like I would have to be Demi Lovato because she is so inspirational to, well, like to me, but like to so many other people. Okay, Selena Gomez. I like the story. Because she is so pretty and she's so many people's celebrity crushes. I can be like, eh. I like this one. You guys know my five sauce obsession and ever since they became, or they started releasing new music. You're scaring me. I've been tweeting about five sauce a lot. So I have a lot of five sauce fan You've been following me now. Five. Tweeting about five sauce for the last. Anyway. This is from Naya Marie. Mm -hmm. hey. I'm stopping you from the. T -t 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 okay. Mook or Malum? Mook! It's a mook. I like Malum. No! My question is do you guys say mook or muke? I know people say muke and it makes I me mad. I'm though. I was. Mook, it's mook. Okay, so the next question is from Greedy for Luke and they ask Kiss, Mary, Kill. The Rock, Pitbull, or Miranda Cosgrove. And then they said LMAO, what? <laughs> okay, um. Kill Miranda Cosgrove. Kill Miranda Cosgrove, kiss the rock. Wait, no, marry the rock, kiss Pitbull. Why would you marry Pitbull? He's bald. Oh, the rock is too. <laughs> this one is from Tahira Brown underscore, and it's which YouTuber do you hate the most and why? Well, you see, I'm not gonna answer that question because it's a lot of shade, but I do have. Oh, wait, no. I was thinking somebody else. Hell, forgot. Logan freaking Paul. I'm not a big fan of either Paul Brothers. I don't have like personal, obviously I don't have personal issues with them. Um, I was trying to think of somebody I had personal issues with, but we're not gonna go there. We, but ever since like the whole issues with Logan saying stuff to one of my friends, like, and then like the whole suicide forest thing, I'm yeah. just not a fan of him. This one fr is from uh, not a fangirl underscore JK, and they asked, if you had to eat any certain food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Pasta. Mine would probably be pasta. Even though you'd be fat, I but- we'd be hella fat. But you wouldn't, I mean, I, I, that's my favorite food. Italian food is my favorite. Kiss, Mary kill. Oh, this is from Tahira Brown again. This is from, kiss, or this says, kiss, Mary kill, Ashton, Callum, and Luke. Well, you see, I'd kiss Michael, marry Michael, and then I'd have to kill Mike. I'm just kidding. Um, why did you meet at Luke? <laughs> kill Luke. Because I'm a I'm a strong Callum girl and I tend to swerve into Ashton's lane pretty well. Um, I would marry Callum and kiss Ashton. Marry Luke. That's a given. Kill Ashton, kiss Callum. Oh, I was guessing kiss. Okay. Okay, this is the last question from Greedy for Luke. And it is most embarrassing memory. We already went through this one, like this story. In one of these questions, like in one of these videos. Okay, so we were like maybe six or seven, and my brother, my brother, by the way, right now, I don't know how tall he was then. He's like six two. Yeah, he was like no, we weren't like six or no, seven. That means I'm... make that would make him like ten. He was not ten. So maybe we were like eight, maybe nine. I don't know. We were young. We were pretty young, and my brother was in his maybe, maybe in his teens, beginning teens, preteens, and he right now he's six two. I think, or is he 6'4"? He's 6'2". He is not, he's probably 6'2", six, he's 6'2", six like 6'1", six 6'2". Six anyway, and he walked across this duck pond. I was like, hey, I can do that too. And he goes, okay, cool, you can do it. And my cousin's like, no, you don't, no, you won't. 
he won't be able to do that. She's the same age as us. She's a, a couple months younger than us, actually. And um, so I was like, okay, whatever. I took one step in and I fell. Broke the ice. By the way, this was at a Thanksgiving party. For a family so we weren't Thanksgiving even home. Dinner. She didn't have extra clothes. Yeah. I fell. It was still snowing out. Oh, yeah. But did I say it was covered in ice? I don't think I did. I don't know. Anyway, it was covered in ice. And I smell like fucking duck shit. And I went inside crying. And I left in just a towel. Mine was sixth grade year. We were taking those like state testing. We called them the OAAs about at the time. I stood up. You're not allowed to stand up during testing. You can get bit like crazy. So I stood up and I ran to the freaking trash can and I puked like in front of the whole class. Like in the trash can, obviously. But I was so sick. And people looked at me like, you're disgusting. That's from a embarrassing story. Yes. Do we tell another one of mine? Yes. In like second grade. <laughs> That's my thing. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you guys check out all of our social media in the description bar below. And if you guys have not already, be sure to turn on our notifications for YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And make sure you guys add us on Snapchat. All the links will be in the description bar below. Um, yeah. I think that's it. That is it. Bye! <laughs> From the warm bun, cigarette in my left hand, whole world in my right hand. 25 in a stall plan, night out in a 10 grand, headlines that are constant. But you only get half of the story, the cash and the cars and the glory. No sleep and we'll party till morning, cause nobody cares when you're boring. Can you stand up, like sit up straight? You're just getting chill like that. You're going chill like that. You do realize I'm editing all this, right? That's okay. Hello. Come on!